Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install an Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced. This is a Wi-Fi smart thermostat that allows you to control it from your phone that was launched in 2022. It's an upgrade from previous generations of the Ecobee Smart Thermostat in that this has a larger touchscreen display and it is a more clear touchscreen display. It also has a better occupancy sensor that helps you with scheduling and detecting if someone is in the home so that you can save more energy. So let's show you how to install this Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced. The first thing that you want to do in order to get this installed is you want to turn your HVAC system so that it is running. Whether that be heating or cooling, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you've got it turned up so it's running. And the reason to do that is that it's just going to make it easier to detect that you've turned off the power to your HVAC system. So a lot of times you're going to have a light switch near your HVAC system that will allow you to turn it off. If you don't have that, you can turn off the power at the circuit breaker. So do that now. And when you turn it off, after you've got it running, that means that you're going to hear that fan shut off and your system shut off. And that just confirms that you've got the power off. So we're going to turn the power off right now. And then we'll be right back. Okay, we've turned the power off and confirmed that we've got the power off to our HVAC system. So that means that we're ready to go ahead and work on this device. To do that, all we're gonna do is take this existing thermostat off. Sometimes you're gonna have tabs along the bottom here or tabs along the top that you may need to press in to pull this off. But most of the time, you're gonna be able to just pry these off if you pry them off from the bottom and or the top. So we've pried ours off there. Just look for tabs if you can't find them. Now we've got our existing wiring for our existing thermostat. I recommend you stop here and take a picture of your existing wiring. That way, if you've got any issues, you can go back with your old thermostat and wire it up just like you found it, as well as it's good to have a record of your existing wiring. Now let's take a look at our existing wiring. We've got our common wire over here, that's our C wire. And then we've got our W wire, that is our heating wire. So that W1 wire is our heat wire, that white wire. Then we've got a jumper from RC to RH, you'll find that a lot in older thermostats, but that doesn't really matter too much. And then we've got our R wire, which is connecting to the RC terminal. It might be connecting to the RH terminal. It doesn't matter because you've got that jumper, so it can go to either one. But the reason you have two R terminals is that the R wire, that's the power wire. And if you have a dual fuel system, you may have two incoming power leads, and that's why you would have RC and RH and the RH would be power for heating, and the RC would be power for cooling, typically. So our red wire is our power wire, and that's going into the R wire. Now we've got our Y wire here, and that's our air conditioning wire. And then the last wire we've got here is our G wire, and that is our fan wire. So we've taken a picture here, and you can use the labels inside the box to label these, but since I've got a good picture of this, I'm gonna be able to start removing these wires. Now, it's important to note that the Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced does require a common wire and or the use of the common wire adapter, which is provided with the Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced. So if you don't have a common wire, you're gonna need to install this down in your HVAC system where these wires are wired up within your HVAC system. But since we have a common wire, we don't need to do that. So we're good here. We're not gonna need to install this common wire adapter. But if you don't have a common wire, you will need to install this down in your HVAC system. So here, all we're gonna do is remove each one of our wires individually, and they do provide you with labels. So label those as needed. It's just gonna make your life a little bit easier and make sure that you take a picture. Okay, we loosened up all those wires and now we can just pull them out. So we're pulling out our G wire, that's our fan control wire. We're pulling out our yellow wire, that's our air conditioning wire. We're pulling out our RC wire, that is our power wire. We're pulling out our common wire right there, that blue wire. And then we've got our white wire right here, that is our heat wire. And we don't need to worry about this existing jumper, we can just leave that with the existing thermostat. Now you're gonna to need to remove the existing thermostat plate from the wall, so sometimes you're gonna have some screws here or they may be somewhere else in the thermostat. Just make sure you get that unmounted from the wall, so we're gonna do that now.
We removed the existing mounting bracket and now we need to take our EcoVee Smart Thermostat Enhanced Bracket for Mounting and Wire Mounting Plate and we need to put this on. So what we're gonna do is take all of our wires and route them right through the center here. And then you can see we've got four holes here. You don't need to use all four holes. You can just use two of them and that will secure it. But you've got the options to use two holes here on the sides or two holes on the top there. So once you've got that secured, you're ready to then put the wires in. So right now we're just gonna take our two screws and secure that to our wall. We've got our mounting bracket for the Ecobee Smart Thermostat enhanced installed and now we're ready to put the wires in the terminals they belong in. You can see there's also a little level down here so you can get that as level as possible and that's just going to make the end result look a little bit cleaner. So I'm just going to take my wires and kind of unwrap them here a little bit so that I can get them to the right places and we're just going to start with our R wire. We're going to put that one on top in the R terminal so our red wire goes to R and that is our power terminal and we're just gonna install it right here. Press down and you can push that all the way in and now we've got it nice and secured. Once you've got that tab down and it holds down, that means that has been secured with that little spring-loaded clip in that tab. Now let's take our uh, white wire and we're gonna install that one right underneath the R wire. That is our heating terminal. So we're gonna put our heating wire, our W11 wire in there and uh, just push that in and once we've got it secured, you can kind of fold it so that uh, it's gonna fit in here a little bit better. Now we've got our G wire, that's our fan terminal. So let's put that in the G wire down here or the G terminal down here, press down and push in. And uh, now we've got that one secured as well. And we're just gonna fold that one up as well too. Now we've got our yellow wire, that Y1 wire, that is our air conditioning wire. So we're gonna put that in the Y1 terminal right here. and we're just gonna push that in there. Okay, we've got that one secured as well. Now, you might be able to see right here on this wire, I've got a little bit of fraying right there. And for this installation, we're not gonna leave it on there too long, but if you do have some fraying on your insulation, you can just take some electrical tape and cover that up and that's gonna hold that in place and prevent it from making contact with anything else. Uh, but we're just gonna temporarily install this for right now. So uh, I'm just gonna disregard that. And then our last wire we've got is our C wire and that is our common wire. So we've gotta put that in our common wire terminal and then just press in. Okay, now we've got all of our wires secured and you can see that those spring-loaded latches are secured. And that means that we're ready to take our Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced. And all we have to do is push it onto the base plate. So make sure that you've got it facing the right side up with the Ecobee logo down at the bottom. And then you can just clip it in place on these four clips. So let's do that right now. Okay, you could hear that click in place. And now that we've got this installed on the thermostat mounting plate, we're ready to go turn the power back on at our circuit breaker or at this switch for our HVAC system that we turned off. And we're ready to power this up and get this connected to our phone and get this set up on our phone. So let's go turn the power on right now. Okay, our Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced powered up. So let's get started setting this up. It says, hi there, we'll guide you through the setup process. I'm gonna click, let's get started. Now it says, are you a homeowner or a pro? Just click homeowner and click next. It said, did you use the PEK? That's the power extender kit or the common wire adapter as I called it before. And we did not use that, so we're going to click next. It says, we have detected wiring in the following terminals. So check to make sure that this matches up with what you wired. So we've got our C wire, our common wire, our Y1 wire, our air conditioning wire, our R wire, our power wire, our W1 wire, which is our heating wire, and our G wire, which is our fan wire. So that is all correct. We're going to click yes. It says, do you have an accessory installed? We do not have a humidifier, dehumidifier, or ventilator installed, so we're going to click next. It says, do you prefer Fahrenheit or Celsius? We prefer Fahrenheit, we're going to click next. What kind of heating do you have in your home? We just have a standard gas-fired furnace, so we're going to click next. 
Here, it really doesn't matter too much. You can choose a thermostat or by furnace. Your fan is automatically gonna turn on whenever your furnace is on, but if you allow it to be controlled by the thermostat, what's going to happen is that it will circulate air for a little bit longer after your furnace turns off, just to give you that heat distribution through your home. So we'll just leave it at by thermostat and click next. Now we need to choose a name for our Ecobee. So I'm just gonna call this one main floor and then I'm gonna click next. Connect to Wi-Fi to access your Ecobee remotely. View the weather forecast and maximize energy savings. So we're just going to click on select Wi-Fi network and then we're gonna choose our Wi-Fi network and enter our password. Click next. Here we choose our Wi-Fi network and click next. Now we enter our Wi-Fi network password. We've got our password entered, click connect. Now it's connecting to our Wi-Fi network. Success, your Ecobee is now connected. Press next to continue the setup process. Click next. What is the current mode of your HVAC system? We're going to click on cooling and click next. What is your ideal home temperature in the winter? 69 degrees sounds good, we're going to click next. What is your ideal home temperature in the summer? 78 is a little bit too hot, so let's put that down at 73 and click next. And here it looks like that as soon as we got through that setup menu, it started to reset on us once we had selected those settings because it probably connected to Wi-Fi and downloaded a quick update. So let's let it boot back up and we'll finish whatever settings it has left. Okay. The Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced has now been set up. It booted right back up after we put in those last settings. It must have downloaded an update. So now we're ready to connect it to our phone so that we can control it from our phone and use it as a smart thermostat. But if you wanted to use this, you could start using it right now as a thermostat without it connected to your phone. But let's go ahead and get this connected to the phone. So if you haven't done so already, download the Ecobee app and set up a username and password. We've already done that and we've got our Ecobee app downloaded. It looks like that app with the E symbol. So let's click on this right here to open up the Ecobee app. Okay, we've got our Ecobee main home screen here and you can see some other devices that I've got connected. I wanna connect this device. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click in the upper right hand corner on this plus symbol, and that's gonna allow me to add a device. So I'm gonna select that from the top there, add a device. It says, which product are you adding to my home? I'm adding a thermostat, so I'm gonna make that selection. It says, before we begin, is your thermostat already installed and powered on? Yes, it is, so click yes, it's in installed. Now it says enter the registration code. Enter the registration code found on your thermostat screen. So in order to find this, what we're going to do is click on the menu button over here. Now we've got some other options on the thermostat and you can see the menu options down below. So we're gonna click right here on this gear symbol which is for setup and settings. Now we can click on registration which is our top menu item right here. It says the wizard will guide you through the steps necessary to connect to the web portal. Click continue. Connecting to server, please wait. It says your smart thermostat enhanced is connected to Wi-Fi and ready for registration. So it gives us a code right here that we're going to enter on our phone. So I'm gonna enter that code on the app and then click next. I've got that code entered on the app from the thermostat itself, and I'm going to click next. Registering thermostat. This is the next screen that popped up, and it says describe your home to help optimize your heating and cooling. So you can choose between apartment or a condo or detached. We're gonna click detached and click done. And then it says size of your house, so you can choose whatever you want there um, for your house. So we're just gonna click that. 
and then you can enter your floors and bedrooms and then when your building was built. So we're just gonna leave all those settings there, but you can adjust them to whatever year home you have and whatever size home you have, number of floors and bedrooms. We're gonna click next. All systems go. Your Ecobee thermostat has been added to your account. Now I'm gonna click finish over here on the thermostat. Okay, that took me out of that menu and now I can go all the way back here and you can see it says, congratulations, your thermostat has now been linked to your account and you just wanna confirm that this is correct. So I'm going to click okay. And it says, welcome to Ecobee. So I could start a tutorial on the device or on the phone. We're just gonna click show me my thermostat over here. And here my smart thermostat pops up and I can start controlling it from the phone. Now let's see what we can do with the tutorial over here. And it says to change the temperature, tap any of the temperature values you see on the screen. So if I click here, you can see I can change it by clicking plus or minus right here, or I can scroll up or down. So we're just going to click confirm. It says see the change in action. The bottom of the screen displays the temperature that your system is heating or cooling to. To cancel the change, select X. So we're just gonna click next right here, right through that. And it says tutorial complete, click done. Okay, so now we've got our phone here. If I wanted to change this, right now it's off. So I can click right here and then I'm going to click heat or I could click cool and you can see there's these different symbols here. So I'm gonna leave that at cooling. And then what I wanna do is click down here if I wanna change that. So let's set this down to 70 and then I could also change it right here. So we'll leave it right at 70 and you can see that change happens over here as well on the uh, device itself or the phone. Now you can also see this little blue ring that indicates that it's cooling rather than heating. And you can see that I've got the snowflake there instead of a flame. If I choose heat, it's gonna give me a little flame at the top and then this will be orange. So in order to have it heat or cool, you need to choose that selection here, heat, cool, or auto. And if you use auto, what that does is give you a heating set point and a cooling set point automatically. So at 68, my heat would turn on and at 73, my air conditioning would turn on. And right now it's registering the temperature of the inside of the house at 79 degrees. So let's just go back from there. So it says right now my house is 79. Oops, I keep clicking on that. Right now my house is 79 and it's gonna cool it down to 73 degrees. If I click over here, uh, you've got your weather. It's just gonna show you your weather for the next couple days. I'm gonna click out of this here and you can click in here for more menu settings. Now, everything I just showed you on the thermostat itself, you can also do on the phone app. So if I wanna change modes on the phone app, I click over here and I could just click down to cool. So that middle button is your heating mode or cooling mode or auto mode. And then over here, you've got your weather. And then over here, you've got your home and away settings and sleep settings. So you could change that. And then you've got your fan setting down below. So the fan's automatically gonna turn on whenever my heating or cooling turns on. But if I just wanted to run the fan to circulate air, I could turn it over there and that's gonna run the fan without the heating or cooling on. It's just gonna continually circulate air with that fan. So it'll circulate air even when your heating and cooling is running and or when your heating and cooling is off. So I'm gonna leave that over to auto right now. And then I'm gonna click X out of this and if I wanted to go into more settings for this device, I could do so from the phone up here by clicking on this gear icon, and that's gonna give me a wide variety of settings here for my Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced. Now, we've got a whole nother video that shows you how to use the Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced and set up some of these more advanced features like your Eco Plus or your schedule, so check that out in the description below. The interface was also updated on this latest generation of Ecobee Smart Thermostat, so there's more options on the interface. The touch screen is a little bit bigger, and uh, you can also find a lot of the settings if you click on that main menu up there, and then you can choose between system cooling, and then your comfort setting, home, away, or sleep. And then down here, you've got uh, your sensors. You can have your sensors attached to this, so there's room sensors. You can put those throughout your house and attach those to this so you can see the different temperatures let's say on our first floor or a second floor with those smart sensors or in a bedroom or in a living room or wherever you wanna put those. So it adds some versatility. Down here, you've also got your fan control again that we just showed you 
on the app. Now let's go back to this. And if I wanna to get to the settings menu here, I click on that gear menu and that's gonna give you all the settings that you're seeing right here. Now, personally, I feel that it's easier to adjust all the settings on the phone. You can dive down a little bit deeper and toggle between them quicker, in my opinion, than you can on the thermostat. So I usually make my adjustments right here. Now, you can also go to schedule here and uh, create a schedule. So you've got all the days of the week, Sunday through Saturday, and then you could click on any one of these and change your time as well as uh, what you want it to do that day. So I've got sleep, home, and sleep, but I could add another temperature set point in there if I clicked away and then click save. And that's gonna add that set point in there as if I was going to work. So maybe I want a different temperature when I'm away from my house to save energy. Let's go back uh, or let's click on another day here and you can see that I could do that to each one of these days, make a custom schedule. And then you've also got your Eco Plus here, which we have enabled, but this is uh, one of the ways that you can save more energy or dial it in. So right now I've got it all the way over and what it's gonna automatically do is use that temperature sensor in there as well as that occupancy sensor to detect when you're not home and try and save you energy by turning your heating or cooling up to a more energy efficient setting while you're away from your house. So if you turn it over to maximum, it's gonna try and save you the most energy. If you turn it down here, what it's gonna do is uh, try and give you the maximum comfort and not turn it down as much while you're away from your home, whether you're at work or just gone from your house. So that is pretty much all we've got for how to install a Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced. If you have a different style setup, check down in the description below for how to install your Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced for other settings. Like if you've got a boiler or a heat pump or you don't have a common wire, we're gonna add more videos. We've also got other videos that show you how to add this to Alexa or Google Home or Siri. So check those out in the description below. So thank you for watching this video on how to install your Ecobee Smart Thermostat Enhanced. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any links below if you wanna support us. Thank you.